Hey guys, I'm Beardo, and I'm a live streamer over on twitch.tv forward slash Life. You can catch me live four days a week, but this is episode three of Beardo Reacts to Scary Videos. Real scary videos. So we're going back to Nuke, and this is a top 10 scary ghost videos to send you running. Maximum volume for maximum effect of the scares. Right, let's go. Not that loud. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. The unexplainable exploration. Now, as with most Japanese videos, the source of this next recording is unknown. But in the footage, we see a guy exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Japan. He quickly realizes that he's made a huge mistake. Bring me the he scary. Encounters something truly terrifying. That's terrifying. We have a state in that place. Clean up, guys. Where's the scary? I'm waiting for the scary. I'm still waiting for the scary. What? Is that somebody hanging? What the fuck? Oh, that baby jump. Is frozen in fear as he sees a woman strangely swaying back and forth in a room. He repeatedly and carefully peeks around the door at the woman when suddenly she appears much closer and seems to just charge at him. Understandably, hell. he runs for his life. Now at first, whoever this woman is appears to be a very strange and very real person. But when we take a closer look at the footage, we can see that the woman actually emerges right out of a solid wall. Nah. Real, or is it just a very creepy hoax? Uh it's the first Again, one that's proper scared me. I actually jumped when she came out with that wall. Of the but, river Inn. That wasn't fun. In its day, the River Inn in Reno, Nevada was a popular spot for the elite uh -uh. of Nevada to rest and bathe in its natural hot Kill that building with fire. For decades, the River Inn thrived as a popular resort. But underneath its happy facade, there were many dark tales of drownings, murder, and mysterious disappearances. Ooh, Jason Voorhees. It is said that the Mafia had a financial stake in the River Inn, and that anyone who had a, quote, accident at the River Inn, well, they just seemed to disappear. The River Inn closed its doors under mysterious I mean, circumstances not? around 1983, and was left abandoned. Cut to 2022, and today the old River Inn has new owners, Dana and Lawrence. During their stay at the inn, both the owners and their workers have experienced terrifying supernatural activity. Paranormal investigators to Ryan, it. River, Nick, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal are invited Seen to investigate these guys the before. allegedly haunted River Inn. Wait, at the inn, the team wait, 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 wait. Did that guy have possessed tattooed above his eyebrow? Oh, Poseidon. I thought he had possessed across his eyebrow. Each to their own. I did to investigate the allegedly haunted River Inn. At the end, the team is told the story of a man named there. Ray, who was a long-term resident and caretaker of the hotel, along with his wife, Janet. The couple lived happily at the inn for many years until Ray tragically passed away in his room from accidental morphine poisoning. Just before her own Not death, a good way to go. Ray's wife, Janet, swore that she saw her loving husband on the hotel property. The team heads inside to explore the ground floor of the hotel where Ray and Janet used to live. Ray, if this is you, please give us a sign. He's got joy written on his, the other side of his head. What the f***? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I did catch the EMF? What? The EMF just went crazy. Yeah, I heard it. Ray, are you in here? You good? Why would you tattoo joy on your head? Whoa! Whoa! whoa the f*** was that? 
There's someone in there? What the f was that? You're kidding. You're kidding. I'm more concerned about the writing you've got on your head. Hello? Hang on. That just scared the crap out of me. That was right behind me. Right here? All the abandoned buildings all that stuff below the floor. floor. Shit's gonna bang. There's probably rats in there. And Janet. But what happens next is downright chilling. But now I Did you just f***ing hear that? What? Were you f***ing me? What? what was that? I so hope I caught it. What? I swear to God I just heard a woman go, Okay. You okay? I'm not even I heard kidding. shuffling after it. But now I Did you just you hear that? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey! You okay? What's that? You okay? I sure just had someone whisper right there next to me, dude. Yeah. Are you okay? Holy sh! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where was it? Right here. I heard that. I'm telling you, someone. Yeah, oh. yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> they are crap in themselves. Talking, dude. I heard that. I probably would be. Do you not want us in here? You no harm. I totally heard oh, that. Shit. I'm shaking. What do you mean you mean him no harm? They're dead. Oh, oh that's glass by his foot, not a puddle. <laughs> he peed himself. Any words? I don't know exactly what it said. Maybe this caught it, but I'm, I'm being scared to be right here, man. Enlisted is the free brand new online World War II shooter. Command a squad of soldiers and participate. Enlisted. I straight heard a, a, a lady go. Okay, look. When I'm leaning up here. Okay. And I had my ear right here. Right. Facing this way. Okay. And I heard it. Like someone just say something to me. Again. Again. Hey! <laughs> Again. <Guys. laughs> He's so scared. Again. Did you not I'm not saying I'd be any I better. Heard that. I heard that one. Who is that? This guy's got some serious ink. What are you trying to say? The voice of a woman can be heard saying, Okay. Then River hears someone whispering and gasping in his ear. That ghost is on the pole. Again. Again. Hey. Okay. Again. Guys. But the guys have no idea what they are about to capture as they Maybe the ghost whispered, the bro. To get you got writing answers. on your head. A static camera recording downstairs films something shocking. Can you tell us where we are? Where are we? Oh my god, what that was right mean? below. What? Oh my god. Oh, it's a hand. Right it's a hand coming around the wall. Still, Are could be a homeless downstairs? person. It's an abandoned building covered in graffiti. I am. Yeah. I, I am. They've graffitied his head at the same time. Do you want us to go back down there? Translucent hand clutches at the door frame of one of the downstairs hotel rooms. <coughs> Meanwhile, Ryan hears a noise from below and asks I don't know about those REM pods. That they are talking to is downstairs. The those REM pods, they flick um, channels of radio stations really quickly. And then when they get words come through, they say, oh, it's flicking too quick to get a word from a radio station. I don't know. I, I think it's just random words coming from radio stations. I'd be more impressed if you got a full sentence out of a ghost that reacted directly to something they were saying as opposed to a word that could fit their open-ended questions. And I'm not saying I disbelieve these guys, but they're quite big shows on YouTube and I'm not 100% convinced on these radios. The same as EMFs too close to video cameras and lights. They go into trigger because there's electrical impulses coming from those bits of equipment. If it's in the middle of a room, then I'm more impressed. But Spirit box answers, on we go. I am. So did the guys capture the ghost of Ray on camera? Let me know what you Or if it was just static, just the static white noise and a voice come through. Of the historic River Inn over on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Maybe I need to look at some Before of these. Move on to the next video. If you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Or contact me in my comment section if you want me to check something out. Top five viewer who wishes to remain anonymous. He explains in his email that he works as a corrections officer at a federal prison in Kentucky that holds over 700 inmates that are kept in lockdown 24 7. 
But late one so they night brought the bad boys. Four a.m. A hallway security camera starts right to on the capture heads. movement in one of the hallways. He takes out his phone and begins to record the CCTV feed. Fred, there's no fucking doors opening. You can't even see it. Now watch, look. And he wasn't even back there. Where was he at? He huh? was at 5:31. Like he was up. Like no doors are open. Like, you can't see Landrum. And then. Let's also see a thermal imaging camera. And it's picking up a person that's not Boom. there. The officer and his co-workers have no idea who or what this could be, as no one could have been standing in that hallway. At the time, the other guard on duty was far away in an entirely different part of the prison. That's so, fucked up. what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. An unholy attachment. Now, these next videos were shared to the internet by Diego Spikers, who might seem familiar to you as I featured him once before. Diego claims that he recently moved into a new apartment in Colombia with his wife and has experienced terrifying activity ever since. What the fuck? It's a fucking hand. Right, opening now and prove this not a real. Since that time, Diego made the shocking discovery that he had a sister named Maria who died at a very young age. He believes that this could be the spirit that is haunting him. Also Holy recently, shit. Diego's niece Amy has come to live with him and his wife. Unfortunately, the He's got right on his face too. seems to have attached itself to little Amy. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's just a kid stood there. Maria. No. Nah. Amy. Amy is fast asleep in bed when a childlike figure can be seen standing on the bed. That's editing. It's gotta be. It vanishes into thin air. Only a few days later, in the that, middle of the night, that can't be real, right? Strange childlike laughter coming from his living room. When he goes to investigate, he I is think that's gotta be to clever editing. <laughs> Amy. 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 That is. Amy Ugh. appears to be asleep, sitting with her back to the TV stand. But two pale, skinny arms seem to be reaching out from the TV I mean, cabinet and playing with her hair. Is it real? I don't know, but that is. When Diego if it is, that is. And wow. To wake her. Diego says that Amy has no recollection of what happened, but he is fearful that the activity in his home is becoming more intense every day. There's no but cut in the edit. What do you think? I can't see any is cuts in the editing. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I mean, if it is a hoax, it's still creepy. Brother's Keeper. Paranormal. But, if that's not editing, that is astounding. I'm pretty sure that's got to be special effects. I mean, they were clear as day arms coming out of shit. If that's real, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. If it's fake, it's done really, really well. Paranormal investigators Victor, Paolo, and Samuel from the YouTube channel Investigaso Sobrenatural are contacted by a distraught woman. She claims she's been violently haunted since her brother passed away from an accidental overdose in the bathroom of her family home in Brazil. She believes that her brother never left and that his tormented soul is angry and is attacking her and her family. The woman, whose identity is kept anonymous, says that she believes that the stress of the haunting led to her mother's recent passing. Soon after their arrival, the investigators begin to witness the violent poltergeist activity for themselves. Olha, o, pelo que eu entendi, né, 
seu irmão tá fazendo manifestação aqui, o clima tá muito pesado. Não oh, tem que é que on the go. Fica tranquilo, tá bom? Aí me. Chega. Tá bem na zona. Olha, vai ficar tudo bem. É, você falou que seu irmão morreu aqui nessa casa, né? Tiraram a vida dele dentro de um banheiro. Tem como me mostrar onde foi esse banheiro? Tá, no banheiro ali. Esse aqui, né? Ele só começou! Right, the distorted calm, voice, calm. that's what that noise was, but Respira that fundo. shaking eh? Oh, if I could see the entire cabinet from the bottom to the top, they showed the full frame. There's nothing to say, there's not somebody laying on the floor shaking it, but I'm not going to call anyone a liar. But that's how you could fake something like that. Isso, calma. Viu? Ele só quer tentar assustar a gente. É só um, um, mais um dedo aqui. Ele só quer te assustar. Ele está trabalhando. Você tem condições de continuar? É... Porque é importante. Tem, não tem? Eles poderiam ter um melhor efeito na voz. Como foi que o seu irmão faleceu? Quando ela tragicamente perdeu o irmão e ela soa como um Pokémon. Calma, oh, calma. não. Calma, calma. Espera. Como ele não está reagindo? Calma, fica calma. Holy shit! Meu Deus! No, I'd leave. I'd leave. I'd apologize. Nothing I can do for you. That's fucked. Nothing could have poked from behind. It's a brick wall. That's more impressive. Respira, respira, respira. Oh, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Pense em coisas boas, coisas positivas, né? Think about good positive things. Good advice. I'm sure that'll work with the fucking whatever that is, breaking mirrors and shit. Vem. Sente. Tudo arrepiado, cara. Ó. Oh. Olha, olha pra mim. He's really not happy. Calma, calma, respira. Respira. Kitchen plates fall and cookware begins to shake. Then when the woman points out where the bathroom is, something appears to almost punch at her through the curtain. A mirror in the bathroom breaks into pieces. But when they check there's the room, nothing went at that mirror. There's no, there's no, there. no way it could have been broke from the behind. The so upset from the incident that the investigators decide to have her leave. Now, in an attempt to calm the angry spirit, the men gather around a table where the man's body was temporarily placed before his burial. They light candles on the table and begin to discuss the situation. But then Why? things just get weirder. This guy is so calm. I've been running out there, my pants full. The door swings open and the team's cameraman drops to the floor from an extreme panic attack. The investigators look after him and after a necessary break, they continue their investigation. In an I wouldn't have gone back in there. communicate with the aggressive spirit, Investigator Paolo volunteers to lie down on the table in hopes of creating a connection with the spirit. You idiot. Why are they going in there dressed like Mayans MC? They're all wearing cuts. Did they turn up on motorbikes? You're going to lie on the guy's death table and try to communicate with him. As Paolo is explaining his intention, what looks like a ghostly apparition seems to appear behind team member Victor. Hmm. Is that a ghostly apparition? I mean, he reacts to it, so there's something. All right, 
Faye? I got nothing. Powell lies down on the table, and what happens next is downright terrifying. Materialize on top of pop. Are you fucking insane? It's neck. Oh my god. How? You fucking idiots. They're not going to scare us. <laughs> oh, no. I would be long gone. What the f... <laughs> I bet you are. Drawers from a cabinet violently slam open and closed on their own. Now the previously fearless ghost investigators seem to get just a little bit rattled by the extreme activity. They are completely unsure how to continue. And I, don't, I don't know what to say to that. I mean, that's... decide to leave the property. So what do you think Whoa. is going on in this family home in Brazil? Could this really be the brother's spirit lashing out at his own family from the great beyond? Sorry, brother's spirit. Or could there be something a bit more sinister haunting this house? That's Let fucking know, evil, whatever that is. The Ohio Ghost Girl. Multiple residents of Mentor, Ohio have reported seeing what appears to be an all-white apparition of a young girl running at a very fast speed. The following video was recorded late at night just outside Bellflower Elementary School. Is this CCTV? Now what makes this story especially bizarre is that so many residents reported seeing this running girl that multiple police units were sent out to search the area. Even though there were no reports of any missing children in the area at the time. Doesn't mean it wasn't a real One kid. One police officer says that he actually saw the running girl. In his police report, he says, quote, I was surprised by what I saw. The person appeared to be a small child, but running rather erect and too quickly for a child, unquote. The officer then How says else that gonna he run pursued the other running than girl, but she seemed to disappear Idiot. into thin air. Police checked the entire area, but no girl was ever found. That is... So is this supernatural? Or just it could be, but again, that could be a low quality. Let me know what you think. Security camera, like we've said both terror. before. Juan and his pregnant wife Nicole said that they were right on their faces. The most terrifying night of their lives, a night that they say changed them forever. The couple who live in Ecuador are getting ready for bed when things take a terrifying turn. Why are they filming themselves in bed? Get the sheet off them. If that's real, something has thrown them. That's some paranormal activity movie type shit going on there. The mirror's got... That, that is pretty messed up. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, that came off camera, but... They can't open the door. 
mira. El televisor, hermano. No encontraba las llaves, Juan, que mira, ahí recién encuentro las llaves. Es toda la casa, hermano. Es toda la casa. Es toda la casa. Wow. If that is not set up, that. The last couple of videos I've watched. Wow. A couple of videos I've watched before these. I've been like. Orbs and shapes that maybe could be bad quality CCTV and stuff and this episode just arms and shit getting thrown everywhere. This is something else. This entire episode is something else. I've literally like hairs on my arms for a reason. I mean I know this stuff can be faked with trickery and you know But if it's real, that is fucking terrifying. This is such a horror movie. The couple's movie. blanket is yanked away by something they can't see. The couple is terrified and jump out of bed and things only get worse. Juan and Nicole both appear to be physically shoved and thrown around by something that he looked they like he can't threw see. himself. Then as they make a run for the door, objects, furniture and appliances move and fall without the furniture explanation. Move. At the end of the video, Nicole seems to be in such distress that her husband has to carry her out the door. This now, is going to carry me out. alleged paranormal video, this recording could very well be a hoax. But if it the could. objects in the video were being but. moved with wires, it seems that it would be almost impossible as so many things in the room are moving. Also, Juan walks through the bedroom many times, and he doesn't seem to be carefully avoiding any wires or strings. So is it real, or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Letchworth. I mean, it's a good in fucking hoax. Video, recorded by Sierra Rose, she and her two friends are exploring or the abandoned good, it, and infamously haunted Letchworth Village Asylum. If that was a hoax, it was really well done, but... Wow. I mean, you couldn't go back home to that. There's no way would I go back in that house. I'm located in Rockland County, New York. Long ago, the old asylum was a house of horrors for its residents. Patients were severely mistreated an and neglected by the hospital staff. Asylum residents who passed away were simply buried in a nearby field. As the three explorers wander the decaying hallways of the asylum, Sierra captures something truly bizarre. Freaking out. Oh, there's a shadow walking past it. That could be their own shadows, though, right? A shadow appears to move from left to right in a doorway. Sierra doesn't notice the odd shadow figure, but seems to get a strange feeling. Hmm. As she comments that she is, quote, freaking out. Now, whether this and is moved a to or just movement, a very so strange not her light, I leave that up to you. To decide the thing that could absolutely be a trick of the light because there seemed to be a mirror there as well, which will reflect light back. Maybe that's what that was. That wasn't quite as um, intense as the others. In the water, a man who was doing some late fishing off the coast of Brazil claims that some strange sea creature with glowing eyes tried to attack his boat. He fled, revving his boat to full speed, but the creature pursued him. Fuck is that? The turd with eyes. And could that be special effects? Yeah. I don't know enough about editing special effects to see if it is or isn't. Or maybe they drag in something with a wire? The 
his eyes are reflecting. Now some online video viewers were that be a shocked seal? by what they saw. They believe the beast was seal. obviously a ferocious sea creature. But other viewers thought that the animal could simply be a large dolphin or maybe a seal. It looks so like a seal. What do you think this large thing is? That looks like Let a seal. Know. The disappearance. Italian paranormal investigation team Inquieto TV traveled to what was once the dormitory of an old abandoned brick factory. The story goes that the workers at the brick factory were exploited by the wealth. Well, last video, I don't think that's paranormal. That's just a steal. Maybe they they've enticed it with food or something. And it was shifting, but it all looked quite natural. At first, I was like, "What's that?" And then it's like, "Well, it's the sea or a leak or whatever it is." Seals can shift. Dolphins can shift. Bought the owner for years and worked in extremely dangerous conditions. Until one day, they decided to form a workers' union and rebel against the rich factory owner. Mysteriously, or perhaps not so mysteriously, all of the workers who joined the union suddenly disappeared, never to be seen again. Many believed that the workers' union members met a terrible fate. But no evidence was ever found. Well, maybe they quit. Factory workers and local townspeople believe that the brick factory dormitory is haunted by the workers' tormented souls. Inquieto TV explores the old building, but other than some creepy, unexplained sounds, they don't experience much of anything. At least, that's what they thought. When they review their footage later, they find that one of their cameras accidentally captured something truly chilling. Ragazzi, che cazzo è quella roba? Non so, io vedo tipo... Che cazzo è quella? Non lo so, non lo so, che cazzo è? Ma sto non lo so, ragazzi. Che cazzo? Che è successo? What did they capture then? I've not seen anything. What we're supposed to be freaked out about is that thing on fire after they've moved away from it. They've probably said. I don't know what While we're supposed to be seeing, yeah? group discovers a strange chalice just sitting in the middle of the floor in one of the decaying rooms. They film the bizarre out-of-place artifact and then decide to move on. But as they leave the room, the cameraman lowers his camera before turning it off. His camera, now upside down, accidentally catches the chalice and they catching fire and they didn't see the, the light reflection or the, the room, flames they don't even notice the flames soon after the group nah. decides to call it a night and just head home but I don't that's think not so. all that the inquieto tv team captured at the abandoned brick factory their youtube viewers pointed out something else that they missed during their investigation something downright creepy that's the way to give views, is to not say you've seen something. I'm going to let other people point it out. No writing on the faces, though. The cross is falling apart, like the state on it. Oh, there's a shadow. Could be any of these. Alma mi hai fatto prendere un colpo. After the whole thing with that chalice lighting itself on fire, nah. Find it hard to believe any of the rest of the footage. 
A dark, mist-like figure appears at the end of the hallway, moving from left to right before disappearing into thin air. Be their shadows. Moments they could have edited the that in after the whole chalicing. In the same hall. How would they not Ingrid notice the, the flame flicker captured, on the ceilings above them? Notice anything unusual or corner of their eyes. The time. So, is this mysterious apparition the ghost of one of the workers who disappeared long ago? I leave it up to you. I'm not impressed with that at all. And just for all of you who stuck around till the end of this video, here's a spooky extra clip. Now, this video didn't make it into the top 10 because, well, it's a little too good, if you know what I mean. But it's one of the creepiest Japanese ghost videos I've ever seen. <laughs> There was somebody stood there grinning at him. Would be there now. That's. That's. Was that her reflection? She's accusing him of stage and shit. That looked like a photo. They walked through that reflection. Was that her with somebody wrapped around her or... I don't know what I make of it. That, that looked very flat, like there were photos superimposed. Definitely looked superimposed. I'm not sure about that at all. There were some really creepy videos in that. There was a lot of t facial tattoos were right in on people's foreheads and eyebrows. I didn't quite get that. I mean, each to their own. If I was going to have a facial tattoo, it wouldn't be block right in. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you want me to check out any types of videos like that, let me know. Uh, hit me up with a link. And yeah, some of those were truly terrifying. Anyway, I've been Beardo, and I am out. <laughs>